a tale of two bridges, where we look at what's being done and not done to prevent people from taking their own lives. Now, we've learned in putting together this story that not all bridges are created equal, and such things as suicide bridges, they're hardly just a Hudson Valley phenomenon. But some communities facing similar challenges, they've decided to take steps to try and stop such tragedies. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, they've had scores of suicides in their history, but they've placed cameras on the bridge to alert authorities, and they've erected signs offering helplines to those wanting to take their own lives. Suicide barriers, they've been put up on the Duke Ellington Bridge in Washington, D.C. And on a bridge in Seattle, city and state officials, they've added suicide prevention signs and telephones, all in hopes of cutting the numbers of people who jump. Now, the Memorial Bridge in Maine, it is a magnet for suicide. And a barrier soon to be installed by the state, it should save lives. But one of the world's most deadly bridges, more than 400 jumps to this point, the Prince Edward Viaduct in Toronto, they erected a luminous veil that is to this point showing dramatic positive results. But there are simple steps, like with the Golden Gate Bridge, that are far less expensive than huge barriers or even nets. For example, for just an additional cost of $5,000 and a yearly price tag of $1,000, call boxes like the one that saved that young man we discussed earlier could be set up. And with a $56 million surplus, how is it even possible that authorities wouldn't take such a basic step why is that too much to spend or too much to ask? Some questions that are Sean Bergen try to get answered today, and he joins us now. Sean? That's right, Rich. Well, we went down to the New York State Bridge Authority today to get some answers about what they plan to do to remedy this situation. And what we found was that the leadership there was missing in action. Hi. How are you? I'm Sean Bergen from Regional News. Um, I was wondering if we could speak with uh, somebody about the uh, Kingston Winecliffe Bridge um, and the number of suicides that have taken place there recently. So you're telling me that there's nobody I can talk to about any measures that have been taken, any kind of safety Not measures? Not right now, no. I mean, you have to make an appointment with John. I don't. If he's not calling you back, I can't control that. Can we call him right now? I mean, if he's not going to take my call, certainly he'll take yours, right? I can call his secretary and see. All right, sure. Why don't we do that? She's not. She doesn't know where he is. She's the one that called me and asked me if he was here. He doesn't have a cell phone. I don't know. Although he's, the, the Bellucci can't speak to us. The board of directors are not available. The, the board of commissioners are not here. They don't work here. The director. Uh, what about the director? I mean, who's in charge here? The executive director, but he's not in. All right. Who's the second in command here? That's the deputy executive, and he's not here either. No answers. I'm not, the, I'm not in no charge answers, of them, right. so I don't know what to tell you. No answers. Next, we were directed to Walter Paradis, who sits on the board of commissioners for the authority, and he seemed more interested in passing the buck than in speaking with us. Could you tell us what has been done up to this point uh, to uh, install some kind of safety measures on the... Uh, no on the comment on that. And why is that? Uh, talk to the... Uh, uh, yeah, talk to the uh, uh, George Senate at the, at the office, please. George Senate? Yes. He's not at the office. He's the executive director. And how come he's not at the office? I have no idea right at this moment. Is there any way that you could find out for me? No. No, okay. Late this afternoon, John Bellucci of the New York State Bridge Authority told RNN he expects to make a comprehensive announcement once studies are complete that will address this issue. Bellucci says to expect an announcement within the next few weeks. Mr. Bellucci again declined our request to appear on camera. We also offered him the opportunity to call into this program tonight to explain in detail the Bridge Authority's position. That offer still stands. Excellent job. Thank you very much, Sean.